Hey, thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Welcome to my channel. Today, we have a tool haul. Pretty exciting tool haul. Got a, quite a variety of tools. And uh, let's get into it. So the first tools I want to show you is, so most of my most of my fittings for my air tools, I have this on my Capri flex head wrench, that uh, makes it a lot easier, is a, you know, a wobble, um, a wobble uh, adapter for your air tool, for where your airline hooks in. So it gives you a lot of, you know, a lot of movement. It gives you, you know, you can move around a lot easier. So these things are like 30 or 40 bucks. I'm pretty sure I have like 14 of these things that I bought from Snap-on, pretty expensive. So working with this company right here, and it is, not sure how to say that, but they're on Amazon. And this is a two pack. And I think that this pack is about 10 bucks for two of them. Now, I've been trying these out for a while on my air, on my, uh, on my air guns. So a lot of times, you know, when I have my air, my airline on here, it limits the amount that I can move my, my air tools around. So I've been trying these out and you can see these things go in pretty much a full rotation. So there's not anywhere that this can't move. And I've got it on both of my air nozzles. Got my little blue point one here. And I love these things. These things work great. I haven't had any problems. And like I said, they're like 10 bucks on Amazon for a pack of two. 10 bucks, 10.99, something like that. So check those out. I'll put a link in the description for those. But this is what that company looks like right here. And they have some airline kits and stuff like that. This is the one thing that I like that they make. Uh, so anyways, I'll put a link to these. Definitely check these out. You won't be disappointed. Now the next tool I got, I hemmed and hawed about buying this tool for a while, mostly because I couldn't find it on Amazon. But, so this is, I'm trying to find the company. Okay, so here is the sticker. It's Valco Cincinnati. All right, so this tool right here, you're definitely gonna to wanna to get this. It doesn't even cost that much. So if you work on Euro cars or you just get little, you know, little tubes of silicone, here you are with this little cranker, right? And you're trying to, you know, turn it and move this along and put your little bead of silicone. And it is quite a pain in the butt. Your hand cramps up. If you got a big oil pan, it is a pain. So here is the tool right here. So you put your, your tube in here and you squeeze this and you squeeze this and this is a gun for these tubes. And so that way you can sit there and you can squeeze the silicone and you just keep squeezing and then that way you can pretty much just go like this and go all the way around your valve cover, oil pan, timing cover, whatever. Uh, so I'm really excited. I have not used this, but my coworker has one of these and he's used it for years. And I finally did a, uh, did an oil pan and some timing covers and stuff. And I was using this little thing right here and it was really, really making my hand cramp up. So I am super stoked to get this right here. So definitely check that out. I think this was like 25 bucks on Amazon. I'm pretty sure it was something like that. So, uh, I'll put a link in the description to this tool right here. Um, he bought his a long time ago from the tool truck. Uh, so I definitely recommend that. That is a very, very useful tool and I cannot wait to use it. The next thing I got was I went to Harbor Freight, got a few things. So just a battery wrench. So I used to have a battery wrench and it was a Craftsman one. And uh, I had it for years, years and years and years. And then it started to not ratchet. It would get stuck and wasn't working. And so I went to Lowe's because now, you know, you have to go to Lowe's. Went to Lowe's. And the first time I went there, they had one on the shelf. And then I came to work. I brought it home. I went back to Lowe's. It was gone. They've never had one since. So I can't get it warranty. And it's a bummer. Anyways, I was at Harbor Freight. This thing was like six bucks for a battery wrench for the 5 16 for a side post battery. That's all I use it for. So this is going to work great. I'm super stoked about this and it was not expensive at all. And the next thing I got was, uh, so Frank's Automotive Service in, uh, in Florida, I think he's in Miami, um, independent shop, does a lot of work, uh, diesels, gas, all kinds of stuff. He's on Instagram. I'll try to put a link in, um, in the, 
in the video for his uh, for his YouTube, for his Instagram page. It's pretty cool. Anyways, he went to Harbor Freight and he had a little Harbor Freight tool haul and you know just showed a picture of some stuff that he bought. And he had these magnets right here. And uh, so these are uh, I saw these and they were much larger. I had bought like a couple small of the little small ones and I hang it on the side of my toolbox. And when I hang my headlamp on there, it just slides down my toolbox because it's not very strong. So these things were like $6.99 for one of these. I bought two of them, uh, so super excited. One of them I have on the back of my cart here and it just holds my grifty mat. I got one that sits on the front and one that sits on the back. So it's easy, holds it up nice. So there you go, $6.99 for a really strong magnet with a hook. And it's a pretty good size hook, so you can hook a lot of stuff on there. Um, a lot of the other ones, it's a real small hook and it doesn't hold much. So anyways, that's a good one right there. I recommend that. Now, the next one, I'm really excited about this. So I ordered these like a month ago. I've never had a good puller. All I've ever had is this little kit that I bought at Sears a long time ago that came with three arms that you could put one way for short arms or another way for long arms. And I mean, it was only like this big fully, you know, full size, this big, and you had to make it. You had to put it all together and it always loosened up and it was a pain. It worked for the things that I used it for, but it was a pain. It was not very, it was definitely not, uh, not time efficient. It took me forever to set up and, and some, like I said, sometimes it didn't work. So anyway, so Mac had, uh, had this set right here and it was, you buy the five ton, you buy the five ton and you get the three ton for free. I think it was like a hundred bucks. For the, for the two of them. So yesterday, uh, this is really cool because usually when you buy a tool, uh, you don't get to use it for a long time. Like recently I just bought some electrical, I bought a new power probe and I bought another tool I'm gonna show you and I haven't got to use any of them. I think I used the power probe just a couple times checking voltage to a blower motor and, uh, and then uh, the tool I'm gonna show you in just a second I used today testing an alternator um, just to try it out. But anyways, so yesterday I was doing a drive line on a Toyota Tacoma and had to replace the three U-joints and the carrier bearing in the middle. And so I was able to air hammer off the, the carrier bearing, the rubber part, and all I was left was, was a sleeve about like this. And so I got this brand new, I literally had just got this, like he dropped it off like 20 minutes before I walked over to my cart to try to figure out how I was gonna get this thing off. And I walked over there, took this out of the package already set up, just took it out, back the, the the screw out set it up push these in it's super tight so it held it nice and just ran it with my cordless impact and then broop, pulled it right off so i'm super stoked about this these things are going to be really good um, i think this works for uh, i think we used one of these for pulling uh uh for holding um a uh oh my god a torsion bar uh, on a GM so we could loosen it up and it just held it up there uh, while we um, while we loosened up the, the the screw and then was able to lower it down and, and get the torsion bar out without having the special GM tool. So anyways, there you go, Mac Tools. Pretty sure that sale's gone. Uh, I ordered them a month ago. They've been on back order all this time. Now the last tool I got, super excited about this and it's gonna take some some getting used to to use it. So it is a Devo meter. So I bought the master kit. So this thing comes with, there's different levels you can buy. You can buy just the meter with just the leads. You can buy, uh, you can buy, um, you can buy just the essential kit, which is just the, the alligator clips and, and, and the leads. Uh, so this thing, when you open it up, you get a nice little Devo pen and, a, and an awesome pocket screwdriver. Their pocket screwdrivers are actually really good. You can see right there where I'm pointing, I have my other pocket screwdriver hanging there. I use it all the time. I love these pocket screwdrivers. They're way better than all my tool truck ones I have. So when you open this thing up, this is what it looks like, all right? So you got a little card here just saying thank you for buying a Devo meter. Um, so here you have you have just the essential kit, and this is alligator clips, Cat 3 probes, uh, a couple small alligator clips, and some back probe uh, leads. And the back probe leads, I showed these in a, in, a, in a previous tool haul, but I like these because they're silicone, so they bend real good. They're not gonna break, they're not gonna melt. 
Um, so you got those. And then uh, I went on Instagram. I won that kit on Instagram. And then it came with a set of leads. And these are like cat two or cat three leads. So they work for hybrid. Uh, so that's good. So the other thing that it comes with, if you buy the master kit, is it comes with a 22 foot lead set and one end you hook to your, to your leads that, I mean, uh, one end of this you hook to the meter and the other end you hook to the battery. And on the battery, you have the alligator clips and those clamp on. These are actually, they opened up really, really nice. So you can really clamp on the battery with that. So that's how you attach it to the battery. And they're also fused. So you've got the fuse here in case there's a problem. Super easy to change. And it comes with a quick start guide. Kind of shows you how to use it. So one of the reasons I bought this was because in all the years that I've been doing uh, electrical diag and stuff, I've never had to load a circuit. Uh, there's a few times that if I had loaded the circuit, I would have found the problem faster. Uh, and then maybe I wouldn't have had to replace the component and some wiring. Maybe I would have figured out the component and the wiring up front, but that's about it. I mean, I've always figured it out. It just takes a lot longer and it's a lot more hassle. Uh, the other thing that comes in this kit here that one of the reasons I wanted this also is it comes with this forward lead set. So these forward leads, they are designed for forward probing. So you're gonna be able to go into the front of a connector without splitting the terminal and opening it up and damaging the, the terminal, like an OBD2, you know, the, the DLC. If you just stick a, a, a back probe pin in there, you're gonna open it up and it's gonna have, back, uh, it's gonna have a, a communication problem when you plug in. A lot of times your scan tool is not going to communicate. Uh, but the other thing it's got is it also has these for the pins in a sensor. So, and there's three different sizes. Now I have some of these, they're not the right size. And a lot of times it, it's a real hassle. I, I was checking a def pump and a sprinter one time and it took me forever to, to get it on there because I didn't have the right size and it was a you know hard way to hook into it. But anyways, so what you do with this thing, uh, the meter, I'll, I'll show this in a future video. I, I just used it for the first time today, but you're gonna hook into this side. It's gonna give you your battery voltage here. And then on this side, let me see if the quick start guide shows you any pictures. I think it does. Uh, I can't really hook it up right now. Um, but so this is what it looks like right here. So on this side right there, you're gonna hook up to the, to the battery and that's gonna show your battery voltage. On this side is where you have two channels. You have power and ground, or you can just use it for two different channels. And what this will do is you can hook into the positive and the negative, and it will tell you the voltage drop on that circuit. And so that way you're not sitting there uh, chasing it down and trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, the other thing that you can do is, and this is the main reason I bought it, was it's got a loading function. So you can load the circuit. Now that will tell you if you have a wiring problem, if you have a, a fuse that's, that's not blown, but it's like maybe it's cracked or it's partially blown. So as soon as you put a load on it, it separates and it can't carry the current, so it doesn't work. But if you loaded it, you would see that it doesn't work and you would find it a lot quicker. So that's the benefit to loading a circuit. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, there's, a, there's someone on Instagram who uses this all the time and I'm gonna put a link, uh, I'm gonna put his Instagram uh, right here. And, that will, and you can go follow him. He does a lot of testing with this. Uh, you can find uh, bad, you know, bad alternators. It helps you test the wiring. You can uh, test injectors. You can test injector circuits. And that way you make sure the circuit is good. Um, nothing worse than replacing like a def pump and finding out that you had corrosion up in the circuit somewhere. And a voltage drop obviously will show current. I mean, will show resistance. So if you have a, a excessive resistance in a, in a in a ground wire or anything like that, um, you know, a bunch of strands broken on a wire, it's not going to carry the current. So you're going to see that voltage drop and uh, you're going to see that when you load it uh, or when the component is loaded, you'll see it in a voltage drop. So super excited about this. I just did a story today, just showing the first time using this today. Uh, I just figured out instead of getting the power probe out, I'd get this and just check the alternator cable to make sure there was no excessive uh, current drop. I mean, uh, excessive voltage drop in the, in the cable to make sure it was okay. It had a bunch of electrical tape around the, the positive cable. And so it looked like maybe somebody repaired it, 
So I wanted to just double check that it was that it was okay. And I just wanted to try it out. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tool haul uh, as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. I'm really excited about these tools. And uh, this is one of those one of those sets of tools that I got that's gonna be a big benefit to me. Uh, sometimes you get tools and it's like excited to get them, but you hardly ever use them. So really excited about this. I'll put links in the description below for some of these tools. The Devo meter, I believe you have to get from Devo. Um, and uh, so yeah, so thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell. You get notified of all my future content. Also check me out on Instagram at Nuts and Bolts with Tone for my daily life as a mechanic. I have a link in my about page with a, a link to my, uh, to my merchandise store where you can get a coffee cup or a water bottle or a t-shirt, sweatshirt, uh, support Nuts and Bolts with Tone for the future videos. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.